<laughs> Eva, welcome at ELM. Welcome to Germany. Thank you. Um, Eva, you are one of the two youth representatives to the Partner Church Consultation. Can you tell us um, where you come from, uh, what your um, role is at your church, so that we know a little bit about you? Thank you. I'm Eva Banda from Malawi, actually from Evangelical Lutheran Church in Malawi. I work as a youth coordinator in mm -hmm. my church, which means I'm responsible for all the youth and youth programs and activities mm -hmm. for the whole nation. As of now, I'm also studying. I'm doing my MBA, Master's in Business Administration. Mm. Thank you, yes. Eva. And you were just part of the um, Peace and Justice online camp that was conducted by ELM. And you were also um, a participant of last year's camp uh, with the theme uh, Free Choice Future. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what was an outcome for you from last year's camp? Uh, I benefited from both camps, even though this year I wasn't much online because of the internet problem, mm. but through the... the, the the messages and all the documents that we are sending, I was able to follow everything mm. this year. Last year we benefited a lot because out of that camp we are able to to come up with a project to do with peace and justice, where we had a camp on our own. We had a camp at at, at home. We we called youths from different dinners, three mm -hmm. dinners they met, and we had some conflict management topic. And we had some topics to do with the, the, the peace. If you, 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 are, you are infringed, how can you deal, deal with it? And we had a lot of games concerning peace and justice. Mm. Um, we also had a dialogue with some leaders, the, 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 the church leaders and even the, the community leaders, where they, they, would, they, they sat down and, and weigh things. How are we going to move up, out? Mm and work together even though we are from different religions, different perspectives, different beliefs, but we are all Malawians and we need to work together. Mm. So to me, I felt like it was so beneficial, mm. the last camp, and even this camp that I'm here, I just feel it's good. That's good. Yeah. And I believe um, last this workshop that you did, as a follow-up on the last year's camp, that was even funded by the Lutheran World Federation. Is that right? Yes. The, this workshop that I'm, I'm talking about, mm -hmm. where we had the, the youth camp workshop and the, we had the, the dialogue with some mm -hmm. leaders, that was funded by LWF, but through ELM. Wow, wonderful. Yep. Work. Thank you. And um, Eva, can I ask you, what does peace mean for you? To me, peace, it means a lot. It's, it means a, having that feeling of belonging, feeling of, mm, of love, a feel of caring, a feel where each and everyone can, can live in one harmony mm. without being infringed or without being pressurized or without being judged. Mm. And um, Eva, um, this year's camp, uh, the topic was uh, leading towards a just future. And um, can you give us a few examples of what are important characteristics for a good leader, for good leadership? There were a lot of things that we have mm. learned. Uh, the most thing that I, I learned was that a good leader has to be humble. It shouldn't be imposing, self-imposing. The leader has to be chosen by people, has to be loved by people. And uh, a good leader should be considerate enough. He shouldn't just take his own perception, but he should also have the feeling of how other people are doing. Shouldn't be judgmental. And the good leader should always be transparent and accountable for his or her own actions. Mm. And um, Eva, as a as the international group of participants, I believe there were people from Brazil, um, yes. Malawi, um, Germany, um, and South Africa. You um, compiled a list of, of important issues or where you identified challenges um, for leadership, and you are presenting this um, to church leadership here at the Partner Church Consultation. Yes. Um, can you give us an example of what is an important issue that came from your experience as a youth counselor? 
there are a lot of things that we have discussed. Uh, just to, to summarize them, mm. there are about six. There is a, we are talking about willingness to build trust uh, to our leaders and among the youth. Mm -hmm. There are some challenges that as, as youth we have managed to come mm. up with solutions, but there are some challenges that we feel like on our own we can we mm. cannot come up with uh, with, uh, with solutions so that's why we are bringing this petition to the leaders so that they can help us to come up with the mm. solutions we know that we, we we feel like if we can have a dialogue they if they can be that space where the the, mm. the youth and the leaders can meet and talk if we, they can be a willingness to build mm. that trust, they can be a willingness to be to give the, the youth a opportunity mm. to mm. lead also. They can be a willingness to to come up with some some activities that mm. there should be a, a, a proper communication. There shouldn't be a gap between the leaders and the youth, like the youth are doing their own things and the leaders are doing their own things. And that, that there is more of pointing fingers that no, it's the youth, they are, they are not doing good, no, it's our leaders, they are not doing good. But if we can have mm. a dialogue, if we can have that space to talk and discuss, we believe that things can be can go better. Mm. And there was also something to do with the, the counselling part. We feel like in most churches where the, the partners of e e e e R M are, mm -hmm. there is that most of the, the, the pastors, they, they, there are no youth pastors to per se, and most of the counseling is done by the, 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 the pastors, and the young ones, they feel like they cannot approach the pastor because they feel mm. like their pastors, they are like their fathers, and they are like mothers, and when they go at home, they feel like the same at the church. So as youth come from this, the, 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 the youth leaders, we feel like if we can have that chance to have young, to train young counselors so that these people can be counseled because now there is a, an increasing lead for suicide for young, young ones, which is, which is sad. So we feel like if we can have young counselors who can counsel this, these young ones so that they shouldn't be any suicide. Okay, yes. so that was one of the themes, training yeah. um, young counsellors to, counselors counsel, to the counsel the youth. To counsel the youth, yes. We feel like if we, we use POH quotas a um, strategy mm -hmm. where the, the, the peers, they, they counsel themselves, mm -hmm. it's better because now we feel like they, the youth learn more from the mm. fellow youth mm. than they can learn from the elders. They can hide their ca characters from the elders, yeah. but they cannot hide their character mm. from the a fellow youth. So we feel like it can be a very good platform if we can train more youth who can train other youth or who can counsel other youth. Thank you, Eva. And you mentioned that it's important um, to have platforms um, where young people and church leadership can um, come together and um, share experiences, their perspectives and so on. And yes. yeah, we are very glad that um, yeah, you made time to be here as a youth representative and yeah. um, to, um, to meet church leadership here. And we um, wish you a very blessed stay here and thank a safe you. travels back to Malawi. And thanks thank for the wonderful work that you do. Thank you. I'm looking forward for the response from the leaders mm. and I'm very much sure that it will be a positive one. I think so yeah. too. Thank you, Eva. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.